out of all of the items in my pantry, anchovies are the ones that bail me out most frequently. If you add anchovies to something as simple as, say, chicken thighs, you can transform it from, okay, this is quick after work food, to this is company food. First thing is to make the pan sauce, then you add the chicken. I've got garlic cloves that I've just smashed and peeled. Then I've got my anchovies. I've got capers. And then a pinch of red pepper. You want everything to get kind of brown. And then the anchovies are just going to dissolve. I'm just going to mash them up a little bit. See, this is what you're looking for. You just want them to get brown around the edges, just like that. And now I'm going to add the chicken to the pan and get that nice and brown as well. I've got salt and pepper on this. You really want to season your chicken ahead. And that gives the chicken a chance to really absorb the flavor of the salt, and it absorbs it all the way through, and you get an evenly seasoned chicken. I like to use boneless, skinless chicken thighs for this. You can pretty much do it with any kind of boneless chicken. You really want to serve this with something that will absorb all those amazing pan juices. What I do is I'll get a big crusty loaf of bread and then I'll just smush the bread into the sauce as I'm eating. It absorbs it and it's just so tasty. When one side of the chicken is seared, I'm going to flip the chicken over. It should be really nicely golden brown. It took about five minutes and then I'm gonna put the whole pan in the oven, probably for another five to seven. My oven is preheated to 350. It smells done. Yeah, nice. I'm just gonna take this out of the pan. The caramelized garlic got really sweet, but I want that pungent garlic flavor, so to get that, I have to use minced garlic. Saute it lightly. And then a little lemon juice. You could also use white wine to deglaze the pan, but what the lemon juice does is it gets all those little brown bits. That's where all the flavor is. It brings them up to the sauce. I'm just gonna throw the chicken back in the pan just so it gets nicely coated with the sauce, and then that's it. Don't touch the handle with your bare hand because it was just in the oven. See, anchovies totally disappeared from view. They're in there and we're gonna know it when we taste it, but no one else will if you don't tell them. And then you really have to do the fresh lemon juice on top. If you want a bright flavor, and I always want a bright flavor, garlic, capers, all of it on the same forkful. Mm. That came out really well, that is so good. It's the anchovies. They just make the chicken taste more like chicken. They make the capers intensified. The garlic is even sweeter. Anchovies bump up the flavor of everything else in the pan. This recipe normally serves two people, but I'm really starving, so I think I'm going to eat this whole thing as soon as I can find. Where's my bread? 